Another fishing day here on the Savannah River. It was raining this morning, well, but like the old farmer's tale, rain before seven, clear before eleven, and it's about, I guess, that time. <laughs> Don't really know. I'm going to start off today with a with a bit of a tip. I put fresh line on. This is floor floor carbon. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever used it before, but fluorocarbon has uh, a, a downfall. Unfortunately, it uh, it likes to kink up and twist and be a real pain in the old buttocks. But if you before you tie on a hook, you see I don't have anything on there. If you lay it out and unspool it and drag it for a while, you can get the twist out of it. So it sits on the reel real well. Real well. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Straighten my line before I start fishing with it. Fluorocarbon is really awesome. It doesn't have as much stretch as monofilament and uh, it literally disappears in the water. I don't know how it does that. And when you do finesse fishing, ultralight fishing like I do, um, that's something you really gotta keep in mind. Today's Sunday, Sunday before Christmas, what is it, the 21st or whatever, 20th? Got a few people here, one of them has become a friend of mine, he comes here almost every day to go fishing, he likes it so much. And then there's uh, two big boys, I call them big boys, they got those uh, big monster uh, bass boat like 225 horse motor on it. <laughs> it's about what I have in my pickup truck for God's sake. But well, they didn't stick around very long. You know, uh, as soon as the boat was in the water, they went from zero to 60 in about two seconds and they were gone. Don't know where they're going, but they're bass fishermen. I'm not really a bass fisherman, that is, if you guys haven't realized. Oh. <laughs> There's all the line. <laughs> so, what I do is I just drag it. Keep the motor running. Drag it. And that allows the line to unspin and straighten up. Seems to be a lot of wood up here today. I don't know why. Um, so I just drag it for a while. And then, then you reel it on in. I'll probably do this one more time just to be on the safe side. Really get the, the spin out of the line. Really helps to seat the line too so it sits in the spool real tight and nice. All right, I'm back. Came up the river to one of these oxbows. You see the current's pretty good out there, but my motor did all right. So that's pretty good. That's pretty fun. Came across some uh, shallow places. That was like, woo! <laughs> my uh, depth finder was saying, uh, Two feet. Oh, sounds like a boat's coming. <laughs> yeah, 
I didn't go that fast. <laughs> That's what you really need. Can't afford it. I work for a living. <laughs> I'm sure glad I got here when I did, though. Those waves would have been a lot of fun. So, this is the old original Savannah River, way back when. The uh, Army Corps cut that, straightened the river out. That's why this is called a cutoff. I don't know which cutoff it is, but it looks like it could be some fun. Hey, we got some. Ooh, looks like a bass. <laughs> looks like a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. <laughs> uh, ooh, he's not hooked all that well. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> He's way in there. <laughs> Little bass. Hey, there's a bug. <sighs> Get off there. Looks like a stone fly. <laughs> All right, here he is. Hopefully you guys can see him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Whoop. All right. This cut off already. Oh wow, he tore up my grub. We'll try to play it a little more. See what else we can get. Oh no! No, oh, that was a great idea. Right in the friggin' trees. Oh, I guess I need a new grub. So let's see, which one shall I use? Blue Thunder, Mon Monkey Milk, what is Monkey Milk? Cajun Cricket, you know, I think it's going to be Cajun Cricket. Cajun Cricket, that sounds pretty cool. Pretty nice. That's not too bad. Let's see if Cajun Cricket will work. It was a bass biting. Something, something very small. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a calico. Uh, black crappie. By the way, here's a bit of an update. Um, according to my fish book, 
There you guys go. There is no white uh, crappie in here. Uh, so that has to be a black crappie, but it is very pale. Very pale. That was just a little guy. Let's see if we can get anybody else. On my uh, last episode, Little Hell, um, I thought they were white crappie, but uh, I guess white crappie aren't on this side of the Appalachian Mountains. So they have to be black crappie. They're just really pale compared to what I'm used to up north. No problem, I'll take it. A lot, a lot of fun. There we go. Another little tiny calico. I would say that there's a predator in this pond. <laughs> His tail's been bitten. There's a lot of these little calico in here. <laughs> little, little. Whoop. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I brought a better camera and I am so glad I did. <laughs> Nature's bulldozer. Got something. Got something. Head thrashing. Ooh, it's another little bass. Little bass. Yeah. Wait a minute. What are you? You're a bass, right? I hope so.
Wow, got you in the tongue. How did I get you in the tongue? Oh, you're not going to taste much for a while. <laughs> Man, I tell you, the fish here are so weird. They're just, he's a fat little chunky guy. and Is there something wrong with your mouth? Ah. It's a snake. Oh, yeah. Man, the water's 52 degrees. What the hell is this thing doing? He could see me. I bet it's poisonous. Well, <laughs> don't try this at home. Yeah, he's got a diamond head, whatever he is. You taste in the water. Gotcha. <laughs> About three feet. About three feet long. Whatever he is. Interesting pattern. Would you imagine that? I'm out here and Two coats, socks on, water temp is 52 degrees, and there's a snake cruising through the water. <laughs> I tried to get him, but he got away. tree. There he goes. <coughs> Just a calico. Calico. Uh, crappy. You know what they say, when you're in Rome, you gotta do as the Romans, so it's a crappy. I like calico. It's a better name. Snakes, pigs, what else am I going to see? Little guy, might be a keeper.
good spot. Good spot. Oh, he's even smaller though. They're not very big in here. I'd say this is the guppy award for sure. You gonna do a little dance? Nope. <laughs> I am just having so much luck today. Calico out of there. Starting to rain. It's getting any worse. I'll have to shut you guys off. There goes one of the big boys. <laughs> they were at the boat landing. I guess they don't want to get caught in the rain. Oh, got something over there. Probably a bluegill. Nice. A little while later, it started to rain. So I'm going to have to do my sign off here in the camper. It's the next day and as you can see, it's rather nice and a little breezy. Probably today would have been a better day to go fishing. But I enjoyed myself. Uh, I was hoping to get a wall hanger, something <laughs> to be a little more proud of. But I still enjoyed that cutoff 19. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody looking for a little fishing adventure. It's uh, out in the woods, pretty quiet, pretty peaceful, <laughs> a lot of wildlife as you saw. And uh, I will see you on the next Savannah Vit River, <laughs> Savannah River Adventure. Until then, what did you do today? See you later.